use of the words I worship you Holy Ghost brought me here Holy Ghost of God in the earth today Holy Ghost of God in the earth today The Holy Ghost is God Holy in the earth Ghost today and you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraught. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Tonight, I'm going to start out with a lie. Luke chapter four and verse five. And the devil taking him, Jesus, into a high mountain showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time the devil said unto him all this power will i give thee and the glory of them for that is delivered unto me and to whomsoever i will give it if thou therefore wilt worship me all shall be thine now I'm going to say some things tonight that will offend your religious sensibilities I'm going to make statements that may shake your theology but these things ultimately please God so this lie that I just read out of the Bible was sold by the devil tried to get Jesus to buy it but Jesus didn't most Christians have bought into it hook line and sinker but if so if you have bought the lie you can't go here that I'm talking about tonight can't go here John chapter 8 verse 44 he the devil was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him say there is no truth in him when he speaks a lie he speaks of his own for he is a liar and the father of it Jesus called the devil a liar and the father of lies do you suppose he knew this when the devil was quoting this bow down and worship me garbage contrast that with John chapter 16 verse 13 howbeit when he the spirit of truth is come he will guide you into all truth he's the spirit of truth he can only speak truth in contrast to the father of lies who can only speak lies right now we know that the Holy Ghost the spirit of truth is the one who breathed forth the scriptures listen to these verses we're contrasting this with what the devil just said that we know is a lie Proverbs 10 22 says the blessing of the Lord it makes rich and he adds no sorrow with it first Timothy 6 17 says the living God gives us richly all things to enjoy all things these are words spoken by the spirit of truth are they true yes those are true first Chronicles 29 verse 11 says thine O Lord are you here thine O Lord is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty for all that is in heaven and in the earth is thine thine is the kingdom O Lord and thou art exalted as head above all both riches and honor come of thee thou reignest over all and in thine hand is power and might and in thine hand is to make great and to give strength to all truth what the devil was saying was a lie if this is true then what the devil said is not true let's look at it one more time Luke 4 verse 5 and the devil takes him up into a high mountain showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time and said unto him all this power will I give thee and the glory of them for that is delivered unto me and whosoever I will give it 
if thou therefore wilt worship me all shall be thine do you suppose that Jesus knew that the devil was lying if he knew the scriptures Jesus knew that this was a lie verse 8 Jesus answered and said unto him get thee behind me Satan for it is written that thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only serve so the devil was saying if you worship me I'll give you all the kingdom Jesus said no if you want all the kingdom you got to worship the Lord your God and him only serve so you need to decide which one's telling the truth the spirit of truth who wrote the word or the devil who was lying well Jesus knew he corrected the devil and said thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and kingdoms all the kingdom all the power and all the glory of the kingdom would be given to you if you worship the Lord your God and him only serve some of you are getting this all these things all of them even that the devil listed come from worshiping and serving him the Lord your God though the devil at least got the worship part right and he got the kingdom and the power and the glory right he just didn't have the one you're supposed to worship right he wanted to be like God but he's not God John 4 24 says God is a spirit and they that worship him I worship a spirit I worship a spirit his name is the Holy Ghost he's God in the earth today you should try that on for size to some of your religious friends tell them you worship a spirit and they will think that you've gone off the deep end but I worship a spirit his name is the Holy Ghost and because I worship and serve him all things are mine say all things are mine I came to know him the Holy Ghost as God and I therefore worshiped him I worship this spirit I worship a spirit I worship God the Holy Ghost he is a spirit I worshiped him and it brought me here say I worshiped him and it brought me here I stand in a place that I did not stand in before and I know how I got here that worshiping him I worship you Holy Ghost use of the words I worship you Holy Ghost brought me here I worship a spirit his name is the Holy Ghost he is God God is a spirit and they that worship him and I serve him for the benefits thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only serve we saw what the benefits were the kingdom the power and the glory of all of it did I get you here yet I worship a spirit and I serve him for the benefits and all things are mine say it all things are mine you got to get over that religious hurdle religious sensibilities be damned why your religious sensibilities are wrong scripturally I serve him for the benefits job 1 verse 9 then Satan answered the Lord and said doth job fear God for naught or doth job worship God for nothing does he notice this is the devil saying this look verse 10 hast thou not made an hedge about him and about his house and about all that he hath on every side thou hast blessed the work of his hands and his substance is increased in the land who was saying this the devil was saying this to God so the devil knew that the blessing of God was what gave Job the kingdom are you here does job serve God for nothing no he's serving him for the benefits the devil knew this 
what are the benefits the kingdom the power and the glory of the kingdom that be the wealth of the kingdom all are yours if you learn to worship the Lord your God and him only serve and who is the Lord your God in the earth today the Holy Ghost Daniel chapter 7 and verse 26 but the judgment shall sit and they shall take away his dominion to consume and destroy it unto the end verse 27 and the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the Saints of the Most High whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and they shall serve and obey him hitherto is the end of the matter how's it end with the people of the Most High owning it all it ends when I say it ends listen to me someone has to take it all we're in that day when those who have the ears to hear will hear what the Spirit is saying someone has to take it all and I don't know that you can handle this yet but I'm gonna say it anyway I'm called to wrap this up listen to me I am called to wrap this up I can take you there I'm called to take you there my equipment is designed to do just that take you there that's why this sounds different to your ear than things other people have said there are certain things that he won't do for you until you worship him he who the Holy Ghost who's God near earth today where do you think we're wrapping this up we wrap it up here in the earth the kingdom under the whole heaven say under the whole heaven where's that that's where you are there are certain things he won't do for you unless you worship him there are certain places he won't take you unless you worship him are you going here with me or not what we've been doing hasn't gotten us to where we need to be can you understand that what we've been doing hasn't gotten us here therefore what we haven't been doing will we haven't been worshiping the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today we haven't been using the words I worship you Holy Ghost we haven't been worshiping the person sent to be with us who has the entire kingdom inside him in fact in large we've rejected him with our religious thinking our religious sensibilities we've talked about him as the third person of the Trinity or an afterthought something or someone that doesn't it's not even necessary really to die and go to heaven maybe so because you're dying and going to heaven but that's not the goal knock it off that's not the goal that's not what we're talking about we're talking about wrapping this up we're not talking about cave theology you know what cave theology is right where the Christians all huddle and hide in a cave until it's all over with this isn't going to end up in a cave like the cave dwelling Christians surmise you don't own it all living in a cave Genesis chapter 47 and verse 23 then Joseph said unto the people behold this day I have bought you and your land Joseph ended up you can read the whole story but Joseph ended up buying all the people and their land say buying all the people and their land that was all of it it all came to him Joseph is a type of the last day church he bought up all of it he said this day I bought you and your land say it this day I bought you and your land 
you've got to receive these words let them go down into you they do something to you it changes you from cave theology to someone who walks with the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today acquiring and buying up everything before this is over we will end up owning it all Holy Ghost I thank you that these people heard this message especially certain ones who've been quickened by these words they shall be changed they shall rise up like never before into a people that I have destined and called to be in the earth in these last days for much needs to happen for the end to arrive and those things are resting upon your shoulders walking with the Spirit God as God in the earth today and overcoming all things acquiring all things fulfilling all things we thank you Holy Ghost for it in Jesus name Amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost you are the Living God I worship you and I serve you and all things are mine I enter into them and they come to me day after day until I acquire it all in Jesus name amen in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God